Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at the Inner Drone Convention 2016 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm talking to David Sliwa from Sky Intelligence Technology. How are you doing, David? Good, great. Thank you for asking. Oh, absolutely. And you've got a cool looking product here called the Orbit. Yes. Why don't you tell me about this the thing? The Orbit is a consumer drone, if you will. It's, it's a gateway drone. It's for people that have never operated a drone before, think that they'd like to capture some video or some content, photographs or videos. So you'll notice that it doesn't look like other drones. It's a lot cleaner design, all carbon fiber, very light, only 2.8 pounds. You turn it on by actually placing your hand on it. It senses that and comes to life. How do you control it? You control it with your iPhone or your Android phone. So it's all app driven. It's the only drone on the market that has a really legitimate auto follow feature. They've combined a series of technologies to make sure that you are in the frame all the time, no matter what. What they've done is they've come up with a tracker. This contains a hyper accurate GPS, meaning that the GPS is more sensitive than the GPS in the phone itself. In addition to that, it has a Wi-Fi transceiver, so it communicates that information to the drone directly. That's one method they use for tracking. It knows where the tracker is. The second method, the drone actually tries to anticipate inertial movements of the tracker. So if you were actually waving this back and forth, you would see the drone would begin to moving, the orbit would move back and forth, trying to guess where you're going to next so to make sure that you're always in the picture. And the third technology that actually uses like a, a visual tracking method to actually lock on a, a group of pixels in high contrast and then follow those pixels no matter what. So unlike the other so-called follow me capabilities, you'll see with this one, you can actually run towards the drone and it will back up. It'll keep the same look angle, if you will, the same visual angle that you had from the very beginning. In fact, they even have another mode of tracking that I think personally think is really cool. They call it point lock. And that's where the drone will sit in a fixed position in three-dimensional space and track you like it like it was a security camera. Okay. So I, when I heard that, I'm kind of like, oh, my daughter's on the soccer field. I could have this on the sidelines tracking her up and down the field. Got it. Sounds pretty neat to me. Well, now let me ask you a few technical questions. It looks like it's just a one-axis gimbal, so how are you getting stable video off that? It is, so it's digitally stabilized video, mm. and the one axis is fine because the drone itself can orbit around. Now, I notice on these little sort of connectors between the limbs are these sensors on the bottom here? Sure, on the sensors on the bottom, you'll have one side is actually an altitude sensor, both long range and short range, and on the other side is the antenna systems they use for communicating with the tracker, and they just made them look alike. Okay. Now what if you're an old school guy like me and you've got calluses on your thumbs yes. and you want to have a regular controller? Yes, then we actually have a regular controller. The nice thing about that is that it gives you a little bit longer ranges and higher speed performance capabilities for the drone as well. Oh, I see. So if the drone knows you're using that external controller, it'll, it'll turn loose the controls a little more. Yes, yes, it actually will widen things out and it's using a different transceiver so the drone can communicate via Wi-Fi with the phone or via like an RC signal and go directly to the controller, give it longer ranges. And you can use a smartphone on there for sort of an FPV type view. Yes, absolutely. So while you're flying the drone, you can download that 1080p HD video. You can download the 16 megapixel still shots. You can edit them. You can add filters to them. You can <laughs> add music if you want, and then you can shoot it up to the cloud all while you're flying without ever exiting the app that's used to fly the wow. drone. Wow. When's it gonna be available and how much is it gonna cost? It's gonna be $7.99 for a standard package, which will include the drone, the tracker, uh, battery, chargers, everything you need to go out and start playing instantly. And then of course, if you wanna buy the remote control or a hard shell case or extra batteries, those will be add-on items. It'll be available just as soon as we can get it in stores. We're actually showing it to consumers the r right now for the very first time, and we're gearing up full, full runs of production. It looks like it's gonna be a fun unit. All right, well, David, thank you so thank much you, for sir. your time. Thank Absolutely. You, and from Interdrone 2016 in Las Vegas, this is the Roswell Flight Test Group signing off. Thanks again, David, thank that was you. great. Yeah,